Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa. Today I did a page in my art journal and I remember to turn the recorder on in case you were interested. Maybe it would inspire you to do some art journaling of your own and it's not very difficult, just a very minimal amount of collage, uh, some watercolour and a bit of doodling. For the collage element, I'm just trimming down this piece of dictionary page so that it will fit on my art journal page and also so it's about the same height as my stencil that I'm using. And then I'm just gluing it down onto my page. My glue stick does not want to stick that page down for some reason so I do end up having to use a different glue to get it to stick down. But my plan is, of course, to have that stencil um, running down the middle in between the two um, pieces of text from my dictionary page. The stencil that I'm using, I have created myself and today I've just cut it out of this bit of spare orange cardstock that I had, mainly so that you could see it. Normally I would cut it out of a bit of plastic, um, but it's usually a little bit more difficult to see, so um, I've cut it out of cardstock. I'm also not getting it wet today, so I can easily um, use this cardstock piece. So I've just stuck it down at the top and the bottom with a bit of washi to hold it in place, and then I'm just using my pencil to basically trace around those shapes. I could have used a waterproof pen here, except I don't have one. So <laughs> I've just started by tracing out each of those little um, stone looking pieces. That's what I'm thinking they are anyway. I'm just tracing around those with my pencil. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to pull off the stencil. If you would like your own stencil like this one, I am going to upload the file to my Facebook group, which is called Bella Creativa Divas, and I'll put the link in the description box below. And I will upload it into the files section as JPEG uh, in that group, and then you'll just need to make it into a cut version using your electronic cutting machine. Um, it's just the easiest way to share files. So I will pop that in the Facebook group. So once I've traced out my stencil uh, with pencil, I'm just filling up random spots in my stencil with my watercolour brush just with water and then dropping in some colour and hoping that the colour will um, move on its own to fill up that little area. I'm trying to concentrate the colour in one corner and then have it move itself with the water uh, to fill the rest of the area, but in a sort of a gradient, if you know what I mean. I'm absolutely no expert at watercolour, so this is really just playtime for me, and I'm not suggesting that I can teach you anything or that you'll learn anything about watercolour. Um, in this video, but um, maybe you'll just um, enjoy playing along like this as well without too much thought about the end goal other than, you know, that it's got some pretty colours on the page and maybe a pleasing pattern. That's basically all that I'm working towards. This page in my art journal is watercolour paper, although it is just a cheap, no-name brand of watercolour paper. I don't like to use expensive papers in my art journal because I tend to freeze up a little bit. I'm worried that I'm wasting good quality art supplies and so I try not to use anything that's that's really expensive and that makes me freeze up. It's the same for the paints, the watercolour paints that I'm using. They are just um, a fairly cheap brand, maybe a little bit better quality than a student grade. And, um, you know, I, I, I couldn't tell you what even the brand of them is. Just use what you have. That's, that's my philosophy. So once I finished putting some watercolour into a few of those places, I'm just going around with a fine black art line pen 
and just giving a bit of definition to each of those spaces. Some of them I've left blank because I'm going to do a bit of doodling in those. Um, I do end up switching to a Posca paint pen after a little while because it's just a little bit thicker and I can give a, a, a bit more definition. But right now I'm just going to go around the edges of each of these little pieces and then I'm just going to start doing a little bit of random doodling. I decided to use only three or four designs in the doodling for each of those little places so there was some repetition in the pattern 
and then it still felt a little blank so I've just gone along and done some random really fine lines up and down each side of my little column and then I felt like it needed a bit of a border around that whole thing as well so I'm just using my Posca paint pen and I've just made a simple border around the edges and that is my page Thank you very much for watching this quick little video today on my watercolour and doodling art journal page. Sometimes I get a bit blocked and I can't think of what I want to do in my art journal and so when I find that I'm at that stage it's sometimes really good to just concentrate on something as simple as uh, colour or pattern and I don't have to make any big statements and it still turns out to be a page that I'm happy with and um, hopefully will prevent me from getting stuck in a sort of a block where I can't create anything at all. So I hope this has provided a little bit of inspiration for you and I'm going to try and do some more art journal videos. Um, I'm not an expert um, but it, you know I enjoy watching other people's art journal videos and I hope that you have also enjoyed this one so thanks for watching I'll see you guys again soon bye for now bye